Welcome to the Web Out Loud browser extension for Chrome. After installing the browser extension, it's conspicuously missing from the top of the page. So what you're going to want to do to fix that is you're going to want to hit this here puzzle button and then hit the pin button for Web Out Loud. Now, Web Out Loud is pinned to your toolbar so you can use it for any old website. Here we are on Ars Technica and we have an interesting article here. I'm gonna to wanna to go ahead and read this thing out loud. I don't wanna read it with my eyes. I wanna to listen to it with text-to-speech. And in case I didn't mention it, Web Out Loud is the number one text-to-speech reader for websites. And let me demonstrate that. I'm gonna go ahead and click the toolbar button, which brings up Web Out Loud's controls. Simple controls, stuff that you should be familiar with. You got your previous, you got your play pause and you got your next. And here is what I call the click assist button. Now, what it does is it, it allows you to specify where on the page you want to start reading. In other words, it lets you specify where to move the cursor. For example, if I want to move the cursor here, the cursor is already on the title. As you can see from the yellow outline, that indicates where the cursor currently is. If I want to move the cursor to the next paragraph, I can just click and that toggles touch assist off. Um, say I want to move it further down the article, I can go arm touch assist by clicking it. Or it's called click assist on desktop, I call it touch assist, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you arm it by clicking it once and then you click somewhere on the page to move it there. And an alternative way of um, moving the cursor is using the context menu. You can select some text as I just did, right click and click start reading here. Why so much? because facilitating space-based solar power would require a constellation of dozens of huge. As you can see, it highlights the words as it reads them. Sounds great. And that's that voice that you hear, that's actually one of our premium voices. Premium voices require a premium plan, but you can use all of the free voices for free. And I'll show you how many free voices there are, and that depends on your computer. See, I have a Mac. It comes with its own set of free voices. If you have the Web Out Loud browser extension on Windows, it comes with a whole nother set of free voices. Anyway, I'm on a Mac and the free voices are here. Um, I'm gonna choose Alex. So we'll see how Alex sounds. Europe is seriously considering a major investment in space-based solar power. Pretty good, I like Alex. Free voices are not so bad and they're free, man. This is an amazing product that I'm giving away for free, okay? But if you want the if if you want the premium voices, you gotta pay some money, okay? Anyway, let's get on with it. So as you can see, on most websites, there's a lot of ads and stuff, and like you got your banner ads and pop-ups and stuff. So if you want to just get rid of all that stuff, we have this button right here, and I call this reader mode. So if you hit this button, boom, it turns the entire web page into this nice, easy to read website. See? No ads. Very nice. And I mean, that's the gist of it. You get the idea. It's pretty simple. I don't need to explain all that much about it. So you can navigate. You can navigate the different paragraphs using the previous and next controls. Pretty simple stuff. It's a very simple app, but it's very powerful. Uh, we also have a mobile app for iOS and Mac. It has a 4.6 out of 5 rating on the App Store. And you can actually save articles from the browser extension using the download button here and read them on your Mac or iPhone or iPad.